what is good kawaii gang members welcome back to my channel so in this video today we are doing the cutest design ever maybe the cutest design i've done all year like let's be honest let's be for real so i'm showing you guys all of the molds i'm using today these are all from a bunch of different places and i've used these on my channel before that video is going to be linked in the cards i would say most of these are from GearBest, but they might be from other places too so um i'm using gel in my molds today um previously i used acrylic in these molds and it worked fine um i would say that this gel method is the easier way to do this um, acrylic is just going to be a little bit more challenging to get all those fine details as well as the fact that gel really kind of like seeps into and sticks onto all the details within the mold so all those fine details in your molds it's going to show really well with gel so um, to get started with my Hello Kitty mold, I'm going to fill in like the small tiny details first. So that would be like the bow on her hair, on her head, and the bow on her body for her clothes, like those two small areas. I would say whatever is all gonna be the same color, you wanna fill that in first. It might take more than one pass. You know, after curing the first time, you might wanna go back and cure again to really fully fill that area up because sometimes the gel can like slide down the mold back down to the bottom and if you're trying to fill it up quite high or like fill up that whole area you might have to do it twice so i'm using this orange from uh this is from candy coat and i just liked it it's just like a cute neon orange i didn't really mean to do all neons but it just happened that way um I'm also going to show you guys how I made the lollipop. The lollipop was mad easy. I literally just swirled three different colors in the lollipop. And then for the stick, I used XOXO from Madame Glam. It's just a really nice nude shade. So I just put that in the stick after curing the main lollipop part. I did the stick afterwards and that was that on that. So after those pieces of the Hello Kitty is done curing, like her bow, and stuff we're gonna do her shirt because my sis needs a cute black shirt because it's spooky season so we have to give hello kitty a cute little black shirt you guys i don't know if y'all have seen these designs before or not i'm gonna put some of my inspo up on screen so you can see the vibe um i was for sure not gonna do these 3d things by hand like I'm just not that girl. So um, after the shirt is done, we are gonna do her body layer. So that body layer is gonna be, um, this is like a white gel polish from Young Nails. When the mold comes out the lamp, if you check on the other side, you can see that she looks good. Like she has her face now, she has her clothes, everything's good, but she's just not filled all the way up. So I'm gonna fill it up with Builder Gel at this point and Cure. And this worked out super duper well for me. Like. I had no complaints. I didn't expect it to work so well. I've never done this method before, but it's a good one. It's a good one. And um, it's just, it makes more sense than filling up the whole thing with colored gel polish. Like Builder Gel is way stronger and it's just like, we have more of it to work with, you know? Um, so when this comes out the lamp, you're gonna need to wipe off that back of it because it's gonna be tacky from the Builder Gel. And when, as you're wiping it with alcohol, it's gonna like pop out the mold. Um, so when this thing came out the mold, there was a lot of things I needed to correct on it. You don't have to do this. I am just super duper like, I'm very picky about fine details because I know I'm going to be taking like close up pictures of it. So I wanted to make it look as good as I could, you know, and um, I go in with this Young Nails Fine Details Gel Brush and just correct it and paint over it wherever it needs fixing like the shirt and the face was kind of messed up. So... Um, sometimes if there's air bubbles in the mold, it won't cure in certain places. I mean, there won't be product in certain places. So you might notice a gap. Um, there was like a gap on the ear and on the foot. So I just put a dollop of gel to fill that, that gap in and it worked perfectly fine. You just want to flash cure it in place and then boom, you're done. Make sure you get a full final cure, of course, but that's basically how her body is created our baby is born like she's here she's ready for the for the world i guess <laughs> um 
Now we're gonna give her a face. I'm using a super duper small dotting tool. Um, I have tried to paint faces in the past using like Sharpies or like this fine detail brush. I tried it and I'm just like, godly, this is hard. Like this this thing is super small, like it's, it's nail art, so it's mega small. So I just use a dotting tool and being able to hold this thing like a pencil was super helpful for me somehow. I don't know. And I'm just dotting on her eyes and I dot on her nose and then I fill in her nose with some yellow paint and cure that in the lamp. I also do the whiskers. For some reason on the first Hello Kitty I did, the whiskers looked really bomb. And then on the second one I did for camera, for on the camera, the whiskers were like giving me hell. <laughs> it was so hard to get these whiskers good. You guys, I don't know. But I end up like going in between with white to like slim them down and even them out but they still kind of look crazy but it's okay i still love her she's still my good judy hello kitty okay so i'm gonna start sticking all these pieces onto the sticky part of a nail form you know if you take the nail form off the backing paper instead of like you know getting ready to put it on your hand or whatever you would just leave it flat and then stick all your pieces on the back of that and this is going to hold everything as we top coat it. I'm using Presto Matte Top Coat Gel because there's nothing more matte than this in the freaking world. Once I did the matte top coat, I took off all the sticky residue and I used a Q-tip to do this because there were so many like nooks and crannies I needed to get into. So I'm going to show you guys how I shape up my tips. I usually do not show this because it's just, I don't know. I feel like I've shown it so many times, but we'll, we'll do it again. I kind of left everything in today's video, so this is how I do it. I clip off the bulk. These were actually stiletto nails. I had clipped the ends off already, and um, I actually applied these, curing them on with base coat gel. I just like doing that. It's quick. It just, you know, boom, boom, boom. And uh, so then I'm going to take this hand file. This is from Nailmate, and I reviewed Nailmate Glitter Planet UK stuff in my last video. I'll have that linked in the cards if you want to see about it. I love these hand files. I love these. They're actually way nicer than I even noticed in the freaking review. Like there's, I don't know how to explain this, but like it's just very effective at cutting through bulk, like very well. So I was able to shape these tips up super duper fast. So today we are doing an ombre on two of the nails and it was so hard for me to decide how to do these nails. Like I didn't know what the heck I was gonna do with them. But I wanted to use this color called Clown because it really matched that yellow color I used for my 3D nail art from Candy Coat. So they kind of like went together. So I took this color Clown from um, Nailmate and I'm applying this to the tips of the two ombre nails. I should have feathered it up the nail instead of just applying it like a big block. Um, I found that it was kind of hard for me to do my ombre blend because I did it this way. I don't know why I did this. I know better, but that's what I did, so silly me. <laughs> and then I do the rest of my ombre with this color called Toasted Rose. It's so beautiful, and I'm going to also put that Toasted Rose on my clear nails. I did not have to do that, but I just felt like it. And then I just cap the rest of the nails with clear to build up the shape and structure. My clear nails are gonna be a little bit on the thin side because I'm gonna be painting them and putting 3D nail art on them. I didn't want them to be hella, hella thick. So they're gonna be a little bit on the thin side compared to the other nails. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch the application. Um, I do wanna mention, I'm using Meraki Monomer today, but the monomer I used, I hate to say this, but I did not feel like dumping out this old monomer. This is an old monomer, so it's a little bit on the sticky side. That's why my application today is kind of bothersome. It was bothersome for me, probably not that bad in the replay, but I felt like it was kind of sticky. It's always better after doing a full set to just dump it out and get a fresh, you know, amount of monomer. But, um,. I just didn't feel like wasting all that monomer because it was so much in there, but it was very sticky. So, yeah, especially when I'm doing like, you know, display nails, I want to use up that product and not waste. And if I was working on an actual person, I would definitely have dumped it out. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Um, Meraki Monomer, she's that girl. 
The brush I'm using today, by the way, is not Alpha Brush for once. It's the brush I got from the PR kit, and it's stunning. I don't know if I showed it in the in the actual clips or not. I think I did, though. I don't know. I think I did, but it's so beautiful, you guys. This brush is so pretty, and it's a number 12, and it's just so nice. I love this brush. I do have a discount code for Nail Mates or Glitter, glitter, <laughs> glitter, glitter Planet UK. I do have a discount code. It's Femi5. So, yeah, save you some money, my good sis. Save you some good, good money. So I'm going to hand file today on camera. I usually don't do this, but like I said, I felt like just keeping everything in. So um, because I love these hand files so much, I was like, let me just hand file today. So I just hand filed. And um, to get the C curve in the nails, I used my e-file smooth top bit to uh, kind of like cut that in there. This is actually a Young Nails drill bit. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before, but this is from Young Nails and I like it a lot. Um, so I'm kind of just taking that drill bit under the tip to build, to just carve out a C. And I love doing that. It looks super duper snatched and just like sassy and like raw and just like, yes, we live. Got that B8 engine with a fuel injection. Drop the clutch, pedal to the floor. After foul shaping and buffing, I washed my fake hand. This is actually the silicone hand from Red Iguana, and I'm gonna have it linked down below for you guys. So the color I'm using is Cocoa Black from Model Ones, and I'm just putting that on the clear nails, and this black is so pigmented, like, she's pigmented, sis, like, only one layer, one and done, boom, is it, like, that's it, no mess, no fuss. And she cured super duper easy 30 seconds in my lap in my lamp so it was it was lit um, then I'm gonna take nail mate super gloss uh, top coat and just top coat them so that 
um, no dust and debris gets on my nail as I'm doing other stuff. I don't want like anything to fly onto that black nail. So at this point, I'm gonna apply the McCart Transfer Foil um, Gel. Um, th this transfer foil glue is like, she's number one. Ichiban, she's number one. She's the best. Um, literally like, you will never find a better transfer foil glue. I don't know, let, let me not say that, that's too much, but that's how I feel, like, she's just good, she just works, you know, and just one layer, cure it, boom, she's ready to go, and she's not nasty, it's not like a actual glue, it's just a gel, it's like very, very nice, so, cured that, and now I'm laying in my lace uh, transfer foil, I don't know where I got this, y'all, but you can definitely find this somewhere online, and, um, I didn't get a full transfer, but I actually loved how that looked. When I pulled it off, I was like, oh, this looks like ripped pantyhose. Like, that's cool. So that's the vibe. That's definitely the vibe we are going for. It gives me this, like, punk rock feel. Do you know what I mean? So after that, I'm going to just arrange my 3D nail art onto the nails. And um, I'm just applying them with top coat today. But if you're doing this on someone, put them on with some clear acrylic and make sure there's no empty spaces around your 3D nail art where like hair can get caught or your clothes can get caught because that will be very painful for the person wearing those nails. Anyways, yeah, so that's basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you enjoyed, please let me know down below. I also want to know, you guys, what is your, like, what is your dream manicure for, like, this spooky season? I want to know, like, what would you live for? Like, what? Because I don't know what I want to do for my spooky nails. And I am just, like, I almost was going to do this design on myself, but I'm like, no, like, I can do better. I think I can do even better. Like, what can I, what can I do? And I want to know what, what you guys want. What are you guys going to do for your nails for the spooky season? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Please have an amazing day or night. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss an update from me. I love you guys all so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.